The IFA Redfish Tour wrapping up. Let's head over to the IFA Kayak Fishing Tour, presented by Hobie Kayaks, where the kayak anglers are anxious to get out on the water. Port Aransas, man, it's, it's a great town. You know, it's not very big, but there's a whole lot of water you can fish. It's like a mini vacation every tournament. Get away for a couple of days, do what I love to do, catch fish, meet lots of new people. It's, it's just fun. IFA kayak angler and Hobie team member Josh McNaughton has been fishing the kayak tour since the beginning and has grown with each event and took home Texas Division Angler of the Year in 2010. Flipping through the Texas Fishing Game magazine and saw they had a kayak division. So figured why not, it's worth a shot. And now I'm here wearing this Team Hobie fishing shirt. Fishing out of Hobie Kayak. First tournament was good, second place. Second tournament, real tough. One red fish, it's good enough for fifth place. And the uh, tournament here in Port Aransas last year took first place and that gave me enough points for Texas Angler of the Year. So try to do it again. When we come back, we'll get out in the water at the IFA Kayak Fishing Tour in Port Aransas, Texas. Welcome back to Port Aransas, Texas for the 2011 IFA Kayak Fishing Tour. We're out in the water with Josh McNaughton, who has had great success fishing the IFA Kayak Fishing Tour since its start, including being named the 2010 Texas Division Angler of the Year. I'm going to try to uphold my title and uh, be the Texas Angler of the Year again. Josh invited his friend Cody Phillips to also compete in the IFA Kayak Tour, and he jumped at the opportunity to take his Hobie Outback out for some competition. This is my first IFA tournament. Um, I went to the IFA Championship last year to see what it was about, see what was going on. Josh made a little company, showed him how to catch the fish. <laughs> but, uh, man, I can't wait. I'm excited. Running sideways, got to be a rojo. It's not for the money. I mean, it's a big difference from going out and wading or riding in the boat. You can hop in a kayak. It's probably one of the most peaceful things on earth. Go out there, be in the scenery, watch the fish swim around, quiet. You float up on redfish and be five foot from them, not even see you. I've seen more stuff out of a kayak than I've seen wade fishing or out of a boat. I've drifted across bull reds that never even knew I was there. And gas. There's no gas. You drive your truck, put your kayak in wherever you want to. Most of the places you fish, boats can't even get there. Now you know if I let you use my camera and you win something, you gotta split it with me, right? Oh, of course. This guy. Man, I made the first trip through this bay and uh, started seeing slicks popping and nervous bait. And just kept chunking and chunking and chunking, had four or five miss it. And finally, on about the sixth, seventh one, came up and crashed it, not even have to do anything, just kind of tightened the line up, felt them, started ripping drag, went on a sleigh ride, got him to the boat, and yeah, that's the one I need. Uh, I would have won the gaff top class. It's been a great day out in the water, and while Josh McNaughton struggled, his buddy Cody Phillips got two fish he's happy with. Let's head to the photo weigh-in. Cody Phillips came in ninth place, a great start to his IFA career, with a total length of 44.5 inches. Cody well, did a great job, and you know what? You had to, uh... Really be proud of uh, fishing out of the hole because it got you an extra 200 bucks. Clint Fargy came in third place with a total length of 48.5 inches. John Kay came in second place with a total length of 50.25 inches. And first place and winner of a brand new Hobie Pro Angler kayak is Chuck Hood with a total length of 51.25 inches. Great, awesome. Yeah, it's the first tournament I've ever won. And, you know, this is our home waters. I mean, uh, we've got a weekend place down here. We do a lot of fishing down here, but never expected this. I mean, with the, the quality of the people, I know a lot of these guys that fish here. And, you know, this is a big surprise.
Congratulations to Chuck and all the anglers competing in the Port Aransas IFA Kayak Fishing Tour. Here are the tournament standings. The IFA Kayak Fishing Tour 2011 is going on now. It's fair for everybody. I think it, it really yeah. it really is fair for everybody. You know, single day tournament, low entry fee. A good organization, well run, uh, prestigious of the, of, of the other. There's other tournaments, but without a doubt, we we play for the IFA. And that's the one we're going to fish. With with a one day format, it, it's it's a 50 50 shot. I mean, you everybody has a chance here. For more information on how you can register and become a part of the IFA family, visit ifakayakfishingtour.com. Or to register for the Inshore Fishing Association Redfish Tour, visit redfishtour.com. Thanks for joining us this season on the IFA Redfish Tour. Yeah, as long as, it, long as he's putting fish in the boat, he can wear my jersey any day he wants to. Just contributing. Feels good. Not only a, a great net guy, I can put him in the boat too. I struggle with a net back there just a little I'll, bit. See? It's not as easy as you think. Being a net guy is just not as easy as you think. <laughs>